In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install Audio LDM2 on Ubuntu. I'll be using AWS EC2 instance of instance type G4DN 2x large. Let's get started. On your screen, you can see the GitHub repo of this LDM2. I will drop the link uh, which I'm going to use in this video in the description plus the commands I'm going to show you. So don't worry about copy pasting the commands. Just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. The first step is to update the Ubuntu operating system. So let me go to my terminal. So this is my Ubuntu operating system. I already have installed it. The first step is to just update everything here so that we know that everything is updated. And then as a second step, what we need to do is to install Conda. So let's wait for this one to finish. That's done. Let's clear the screen. And now let's install Conda. Let me go to my temp directory. And there, by using wget, I'm going to download this Conda. That will now allow me to keep my dependencies and environment separate. That's done. Let's check the checksum of Conda. Or Anaconda, you can call it that too. So let's run it now. Press enter and then space bar a couple of times. And then just simply write yes, enter, and it will install it in your default directory. So let's wait for it to finish. While Conda is installing, let me quickly give you an overview of this LDM2. This audio LDM2 is basically a unified framework for text to audio generation and it, it is capable of producing sound effects, human speech and also music. It is capable of performing conditional audio, music and speech generation and it exploits autoregressive and latent diffusion models. Audio LDM2 also works without audio annotation. Okay, now Another great thing about this Audio LDM2 is that it is pretty lightweight and easy to use. And one of the best thing I like about this model is that it is um, very easy to install too. Conda is installed. It is asking me that if I want to initialize it, press enter or just type yes. And that's done. Now quickly source this so that we know that Conda is in our environment. Simply type Conda info to make sure Conda is installed. And it is. Awesome. Okay. Now we have completed almost all the prerequisites. Now let's create our Conda environment and then activate it. Let me first create the Conda environment with the specific version of Python, which is 3.8, which is supported by this LDM2. Press enter or Y should be creating your environment shouldn't take too long that's done now let's activate this environment so that it appears in these brackets and we know that it is already installed cool now next thing we need to do is to install the github repository the audio ldm21 and we need to use pip3 for that now i'm using ubuntu and pip3 doesn't come installed with it so we need to install the pip3 first and the command is this and press Y and should it take too long. So let's wait for it to finish. Press enter here. And you are done. Cool. Now also export this path so that it is in the path. And now as we have done the pip, it is time to install our github repo and the requirements so let's run this command which is going to clone and install this github repo and let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long okay so this is done now let's clone that github repository that's done too which is awesome now let's cd to that directory and start our application and let me clear this first 
with CV here and let's install and start our app.py. Give me six. So there you go. So let me install it and it should print a gradual link. So let's wait. Then it is downloading it. It's around 5.36 gig. So it will take around six minutes or so as per ETA. So let's wait for it to finish. That script is still running, downloading stuff. And it is now downloading all the examples. And it's at the last example. And I had paused the video before. And since then, it's been around 90 minutes that it's been downloading all this stuff. So I will pause the video again and wait until this finishes. At last, the installation is done. And as you can see that now this model is running on my local system and we also have a public URL at Gradio. Let me go to my browser and see if it works in the browser or not. So you need if you're running it on AWS or any cloud provider, make sure that the port 7860 is open. So let me try to access it on 7860 port. And I'm running it in my browser. Let's wait. Radio is loading as you can see. And there you go. So our model audio LDM2 is running. Now, all you need to do is to simply give a prompt here and it has come up with a default one and then click on submit and you can also modify your detail configuration. Let me submit it while it runs. And if I go back to my terminal while it is running, you will see in terminal that it is downloading yet another example as I have run the submit and it is telling me it will take around 19 minutes or so. So while it runs, let's go back to browser. And here you can see there are a lot of other things which you can test out, such as um, these prompts. It gives the duration and then it also gives you some of the tips as how you can enhance the quality of your generated audio, such as you try to use more adjectives, try to use different random seeds, and then try to use the generic terms. So it is still running and let's go check it in our terminal. How it is going. So it is still showing us the ED of around 18 minutes, 17 minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. It seems to be almost done here in the terminal. Let's check it in our browser. In browser, it is still running. So let's wait for it to come back. Finally, the audio has appeared. Let me play it and see how it looks and how it sounds. Okay, so my apologies, I know it was quite shilling, but as you can see, it was quite similar to what we had prompted it, like a forest of wind chimes singing a soothing melody. Uh, I agree it's not uh, it's not soothing by any means, but it was at least chimes in the wind of chimes. So let's also have a quick look at the terminal, what it shows here as an output. Let me open my terminal. And as you can see, it has printed out some of the cryptic numbers there at it as it played our audio. So this is it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you still have any confusion or if you encounter any issues while installing it then please put them in the comments and i'll be happy to answer um, as much as i could and uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you